Hey guys, really good to chat to you today. So home practice, there are challenges. People, work being around in your home environment. So a really good tip is to clear all the workspace of anything that reminds you of your work. So for me, I'm a teacher in the day, that is my laptop, that's any marking, that's any books that remind me of my work environment, I remove them out of the room. Wherever I am, I try to clear the space. That then gives me a little bit more mental clarity, which is part of your yoga practice, just clearing the mind, the clutter that goes on in the mind. And then obviously I've spoke about the phone already. So getting rid of that phone unless you want your music on, which is a really key thing. I love music and I love to have tracks that I can really wake up to or go to sleep to that, that, that help me to just get into my own flow. So creating a playlist is another really important part of the practice, which I will add you into a link that you can see all of my playlists and you are more than welcome to use them. But you may have your own, your own style of music. You may like to rock out to heavy metal. You may like to rock out to classical or to traditional yogic music. Um, so you, you start thinking about that with you. What music would you like to connect to on the mat? That's part of the home practice. So clearing the space, finding some of the atmosphere through music, but then also accepting these people may come and go in the house and cause you your distraction from your practice. That is absolutely fine. Some of my normal practice at home is when my family are on the sofa and I'm on my mat sitting like this, finding my flow. So my flow might be very still at times. I may be sitting in this posture and just holding this stretch for a few breaths. I may be here sitting with my notepad writing some notes on my flow or on my planning for my classes or just finding a moment just to sit on the mat whilst my family are around me just connecting in, checking in with the mat and my mind and my body. It, it's totally up to you but, but a really good way to start is just getting that mat out, looking in your house and finding your best space, okay? And stick with it. If something doesn't work don't just quit and give up, keep trying, because a habit takes about 30 days to make it part of your routine, to make it part of your cycle. It's, it's like anything, you need to keep introducing it and reintroducing it and, and going for it. So give yourself that time and I promise you, you will reap the benefits. Practice and all is coming. Namaste.